In good health, a new study shows remarkable promise in treating rectal cancer. Also, the CDC increases the threat level for monkeypox. But first, Michigan's COVID activity level is downgraded to low. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with today's health headlines. Doc? Yeah, Kim and Evan. So according to the website COVID Act Now, the community risk level for the state of Michigan is now low. Now, this website uses an, the number of newly reported COVID cases, the number of hospital admissions for COVID over the past week, and the percentage of hospital beds occupied by COVID patients to calculate that risk. I do need to point out, though, while the state as a whole averages out to low, Southeast Michigan is still considered high risk. Now, a monoclonal antibody therapy called dostarlamab has shown remarkable effectiveness in treating a specific type of rectal cancer without the need for surgery or chemotherapy. In a study published in the New England Journal of Medicine, 12 out of 12 patients with rectal cancer showing a specific genetic characteristic had a complete response to the drug after six months of follow-up. Now, while that is impressive, additional studies with more patients and longer follow-up are needed. About 5 to 10 percent of rectal cancers have the genetic trait that makes them susceptible to dostarlibumab. Big picture, progress like this really highlights the future of individualized cancer therapies. Now, finally, the CDC has elevated the alert level for monkeypox from level one to level two. That basically means people should practice now enhanced precautions. Specifically, travelers should avoid close contact with sick people, including those with skin or genital lesions, and avoid contact with dead or live wild animals. The CDC, importantly, still considers the risk of monkeypox to the general public as low. Back to you. Okay, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.